welcome to my channel so today we are going to look at the recycling here is more eco tea about your recycling stuff the impact of the fashion industry is enormous on our environment it's the whole model of fast fashion that contributes to such environmental impact these days everything is polyester polyester in case you didn't know is plastic it, when we wear polyester we are actually wearing plastic when we wash it it's contributing to microplastic pollution in the environment I am so surprised that so many high-end companies are even inserting polyester into their brand and yes Zara H&M and other stories they advocate recycling and we don't have the technology today to really and truly recycle polyester sorry to interrupt guys but just a quick note hi guys if you just so happen to just click on my video you are new please click the red subscribe button so here they are guys if you click on these buttons you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when i post new videos and most importantly guys it's free thank you so much for subscribing love you let's get back to the video and here is more eco tea about your recycling stuff when you donate when you send to charity guys only about one to two percent of what you donate or what you think you're recycling actually gets recycled and in the true sense of the word when we think of recycling we are thinking of well when it comes to clothing items we are thinking of actually breaking down that garment that you recycled into new fibers i mean like creating new fibers and making a new item from that newly created fiber that's recycling in the true sense of the word but sad to report to you guys that most of the times your items are not recycled some of them get new homes new purpose and you can do that yourself <laughs> you can simply like find new ways to reuse your stuff keep them in your closet they're yours you bought them don't pass on the burden to some third world country like most of them are likely to end up i am from a third world country and oh my god I think Nairobi is getting the brunt of this because they have a second-hand clothing industry but recently the government is really hammering down on this they are refusing our items they think that we should keep our items up here in Canada and the US or France wherever you try to get rid of them I they are telling you guys to take your secondhand clothes and and yeah so if only one to two percent of your recycling is being actually recycled in the literal sense of the word then 99 to 98 percent guys that it ends up in the landfills and as i've said before synthetic materials they are non-biodegradable and when they do take their jolly time to break down it takes hundreds of years up to 400 years 450 years guys oh my god 
and we are not around to see it and that's that's the consolation I find that some people get well huh I won't be around but your great 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 granddaughter would be around grandson would be around your best friend your, your BFF S's her kids would be around I know it's we don't consider it if it's one thing that you can give to your great great grandchildren and what I would recommend is for people to write a letter to your future great great cousins great great grandchildren and tell them how you have contributed to the environment and what they can actually continue in your footstep because we know most of the times we are not leaving them any financial or monetary inheritance let me correct that a lot of us are not leaving them properties or any monetary or financial stuff we would try but what we can do is to write a letter to to them and let them continue the trend and continue to write letters to their future um, grandkids or friends and show how they have you have contributed to the environment to make the world a better place for them that's something I plan on doing and actually this video is is hopefully would be around for my future great great grandchildren or grandchildren to see and to know that I have contributed a little bit to the environment and it's the same can be said when we when we cleanse our closet of things we don't need anymore because maybe they're too small or we are tired of them or uh, it's not our style anymore whatever the reason we really have to consider where our stuff goes you don't just pass your burden on your environmental burden on we need to really really educate the people that we are passing our stuff on to when you sell on your depop guys consider leaving a little message below that this is the fabric that this item is made of please reuse swap or if possible of course recycle when you can know how to wash the items but as I've said the technology for actually um, really really doing transforming types of recycling for synthetic items is not around and even when it comes to recycling itself companies not that they don't care about the recycling process because some of them try but it's not it's not looking pretty for their bottom line they don't care about our bottom line of course they care about their bottom line for companies to really make an impact on the environment they need to definitely change their business model and many of them do not wish to do that they believe in fast fashion and so it's not attractive for them to recycle and actually make new fibers and create new material and new items out of recycling stuff whatever is recyclable because when you mix fibers it's difficult as I've said before to to actually recycle to separate the synthetic from the natural it's it's definitely a challenge technology is not there companies don't want to waste their time on it they don't have the time it's going to be expensive for them 
So yeah, guys, they care about their bottom line, not ours. So you have to not buy it. Let them take the burden on themselves or try to send them a message. I mean, I still love myself some Zara. I love myself some H&M. I love myself some Topshop, some Shop Bop. I, I still do shop. I am just more aware of what I'm looking for. And as I have said before, it's fabric fit style. So guys, it's definitely something to think about as you go forward in your fashion journey, as you go forward in life. All I can say is that buy what you need. I know that for us, fashion is a is our statement. For some people, they view it as a status statement. The more expensive and the more clothes you have, it's 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 a status statement to them. It it, it makes you look rich and and you 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 look like you have made it and so yeah i am not trying to take away that sense of accomplishment or pride from you i just want to show you that high-end companies they also are guilty of using synthetic fibers despite the fact that they know the environmental footprint on it so even if it's expensive, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a great fabric. And so that's the takeaway I want you to take away. Giving it to you. <laughs> so guys, I really, really, really hope this was not too much information and that you find this useful and that you can always refer to this as you go forward in shopping and now that Christmas season is coming up, Boxing Day is coming around, Black Friday is coming around. Keep these in mind as you shop. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Love you as always and don't shoot the messenger. I'm just telling you as it is. Love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.